Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a tank review on the Carnarvon. This is the 208 Buddhist Heavy. I have the standard consumables, 5 APCR rounds, the rest is AP. This is fully upgraded. The equipment loadout I'd recommend is probably just a regular old DPM build. And I command it to support stuff like that. As you can see, the penetration is 220 with AP, all that stuff, 280 damage. We're going to move on straight to the armor. As you can see, it's kind of like a Sicilian almost with its turret. Well, Pretty much is with the start. My bad. <laughs> the engine back is 17 millimeters. So don't get hit by Audi. Turret roof 28. Wheel 30. Oh my god. I goofed it up. Top of the turret is 28. Wheel is 38. Side and lower plate are 76. Wheel of the turret and turret lip at the front is 88 millimeters. 120 on the sides, 130 on the upper plate. 177 millimeter seek. Front and turret is 254, and the mantlet is 269. Here's the rest of the stats. Pause if you'd like, but we're going to get straight into the battle. With no equipment and an OK commando, the reload time is 3.25 seconds. So if you made this DPM build, you can see that, yeah, this thing would get some damage up pretty quick. On to the battle. Hello and welcome to the battle. Now, the play style for this tank is obviously you're going to want to go held down. If you ever played the Sicilian line, it's the same thing as the full Sicilian you unlock. Fully upgraded, your toad is great, except in this, you do have a stronger upper plate, so you can feel more comfortable on the ridge line. If you ever played the tier 8 medium, you know, if you sell a little bit of your hull and you're gonna go straight through, that problem's gone with this. Now, the weakness for this vehicle is. Obviously, it's level plate. The only hard thing is, again, it's lower plate. But if you can, and if you're really struggling to find yourself against this vehicle, you're, and if you're in like a Russian heavy or something like that, you're gonna want to trade shots for shot. But of course, that's only if you can pen them. The commando hatch is pretty small when you're facing him, and if he's held down and using his gun to press him, don't even bottle, you're not gonna damage him. I missed my shot on the ISM though. Now, of course, I'm trying to get to a position where I could hide my lower plates. I'm ready to go town. I had one in mind. So I wanted to help this uh, middle here. Tiger 1 puts one to the side of my tank. That I get to my hold down position. Now I can just go to town. I'm being shot down upon from the top of the hill. Not a stone code. But right now we're just whipping apart this Tiger one. He's stuck. That was a pretty damn bad game for him. Seeing to see if the stone code wants to try to put another shot in. Doesn't look like he wants to. Black points. 
he wants to go up to be a frog vine. No wait. Canavan just wipe us. Long tank, sorry guys. Now if you're playing the Black Prince or Sorcha 7, or wherever you are on the line, I really hope you've been trying to get up the line. Because the sooner you get through that tier 7 and get to the tier 8, it is definitely a rewarding vehicle. And getting to the tier 9 won't be that bad. You finally get a good gun that's bigger than a 17 pound or a 75 millimeter that you had on the tier 5. But it is still only 280 damage. It doesn't hurt the most, but the way to fire it what makes it so deadly. The tier 9, you'll finally feel like you're doing some heavy tank damage. You'll be doing 400 assaults. And you'll still have a pretty nice reload, actually. And here's a good example in a minute here. I'm going to come out of my held down position. I'm going to have slots on my lower plates. There's one. There's one from the stone code. There's two from the stone code. Boys heavies, I tend to have a pretty big lower plate and easy to pen. But they also have accurate fast fire on guns. Looking at the stone code right now, because it's just him and artillery. But I'm also trying to move and stay safe from Audi. Okay, taking a look for Audi real quick. There he is. Snaps up. The stone code finishes us. I think he sought my side ammo. It's just a stone code. And that is our victory. I hope you guys enjoyed the tank review and the battle. If you play the Canavan like this, it's a very powerful tank. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow with the Conqueror video. Have a nice day. Bye for now.